Okay, so this is going to be the uh, explanation of the trick I put on a, a couple days ago on how to get the, uh, the spectator to cut to uh, any card that you happen to, um, to, 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 force, to force on them. That's the, that's the method. So I was reading the comments, and a couple of you guys uh, got it spot on, I think. And then a couple of you guys said uh, breather, cramp, or some other stuff. So most of you guys were, um, uh, were wrong. But uh, so some of you guys got it, and I'm very, very, very happy for that. I got some some educated some educated subscribers here. So for this particular method, let's see how obnoxious I could produce the setup here. There you, there you go, right there. So that's the uh, that's the that's not you don't need that. So there's the setup. If you haven't figured it out for this trick, you need the jack, queen, king, spades. Why? Because it's one. Jack, queen, king of hearts because it's two. You notice it has two butts, so that's why I consider it two. Uh, clubs and then diamond, or you could have it in chased, however it is that you pronounce it or uh, remember it best. So that goes on top of the deck. No no breather crimp, just that goes on top of the deck. If you want, I don't usually do this, but if you want, you could have an additional three cards on top of it that don't matter, and that way you're ready to... Uh, you're ready, honestly, to fuck at this point. There's not really much that you could do with this trick that doesn't lead eventually to to fucking. But uh, the reason I have the three cards on top is because just in case you happen to uh, get the spectator to say the Jack of Clubs, if you originally had that card on top, guess what? Or Jack of Spades, sorry. You need to um, you need to you need to figure it out. But with this way, you could call the Jack of Spades just as easily as you can call the rest of the cards. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's the other method. So. Two things that you're combining for this. John Kerry is a goat in every sense of the word. John Kerry, he's the one that came up with this uh, this uh, cut thing. He has a bunch of tricks. This trick is pretty much based on a force that he came up with. Uh, if that guy doesn't get, get, get fucked every day, then I don't understand what's wrong with life. But that guy deserves all the credit for this particular trick. So uh, what you do is that you're going to equivocate a a face card um, and then from then it's pretty much all smoke once you get them to pick a face card they could pick any face card they want and you could pretty much run through the process and it's gonna work so the equivocate the only time you're doing equivocate is in the beginning of the trick you don't need to know any equivocate past just getting them to pick face cards over number cards so what I mean by that you ask the spectator to imagine a deck of cards in their hand and they separate them between the face cards and the number cards so what you tell them to do is hand you either one. If they hand you the face cards, you proceed with you holding a face card. So you go, okay, so I'm going to separate these between the reds and the blacks. You, you see that subtlety there? If they decide to hand you the number cards, you go, okay, great. So divide the cards in your hand between the reds and the blacks. So either way, they're going to get stuck with the face cards, which you happen to have on the top of the deck. You see the ingenuity here? That's, that's what's going on. So... Uh, you, you tell them to imagine a deck of cards in their hand and to imagine giving you either the number cards or the picture cards. Let's pretend they give you the number cards in this situation. You go, okay, that's great. We'll get rid of them. So spread the uh, spread the, the face cards in your hand and separate them between reds and blacks. Which ones do you want to eliminate? Everything past this point is a free selection. So you could give them the opportunity to change their mind. And if you're doing this for magicians, you could even uh, play around with the equivocate here because magicians are very easy to uh, reel in. So you could just play, oh, uh, are you sure? Do you want to, which one do you want to eliminate? So you could play with that if you want to be a, a cunt. So once you get to that point, you could just whittle down to whatever card they want. So they eliminate the red cards, the left of the black cards. If you want to include the uh, the potentially racial pattern that I've included in the previous video, by all means, go ahead and do it. It's 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 the one that gets the uh, the most reactions, the, definitely the most reactions. So you whittle down the uh, selection process. They eliminate uh, the blacks. They go for the reds. Um, then you whittle down to the, uh, the hearts and diamonds. They go for hearts. Let's say, let's pretend. So whatever card they name, what you're going to do is that you're going to call that card to the bottom of the cut stack. So you tell them to lift off however many cards they want. So let's say they lift off about that much. And what's going to happen is that depending on the card they named, you're going to just spread to that card and call it right to the bottom of the stack here. That's the uh, original John Kerry Four. So we're going to pretend that they went for the Queen of Hearts. Now, it's not as... Uh, the, the issue here is that you don't want to seem to be counting the cards because then the method becomes a little bit too obvious. So I just spread them in groups of three. I know that the first three 
are uh, are crap cards, so they're really not going to be uh, attentive. So I spread the first three and think garbage. I think I spread the next three and think spades. Spread the next three and think hearts. I know the middle card is going to be the queen of hearts. So what do I do? I put my little finger there. You see what you see what happens as I'm spreading and saying, oh, you, you uh, any reason why you cut to that particular uh, cut these particular cards or whatever? Really, I'm calling that queen to the bottom of the deck. So you could do this with any um, any card that they happen to name. Uh, after you do the the force of the face cards in this particular situation so they could cut to wherever they want and then after you're reiterating let's pretend that they pick the jack of spades for some reason you could say oh that's fantastic is there any reason why you decide to cut to this particular thing see what i'm doing yeah garbage i know the jack of spades is right there so i'm calling that card to the bottom and uh, having this very open gesture and saying, oh, uh, well, remember, you could have had any free choice you wanted. If you picked number cards, this would have been entirely different. But you happen to have picked picture cards. And uh, talk about the fairness of the procedure here. So when you show them that they cut to the card that they supposedly just thought of, which could have been really any card in the deck, uh, they're ready to just explode in a, in a, in a pile of fluids. So that's that's pretty much the method there. It's, it's a equivocate of just uh, forcing the face cards of the deck, that's it. You, it's not really equivocate. You're just literally playing along the lines of, oh, you, you're holding the face cards? That's fantastic. We're going to proceed in that way as if that was the plan the, the, the entire time. So you could do that. And uh, this particular method works extremely well with that uh, cold thing. I know it's overkill because there are certain cards that are, that are pretty much never going to be picked. But I like having the freedom of letting them pick and go through the process of any single court card they want. So that's why I put all of them on the stack. Uh, but that's pretty much the trick. You enjoy it, you practice it, you make sure to uh, put the, um, do the, uh, do the thing that all the, all the YouTubers, all the YouTubers do say and, and do. But uh, practice it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go watch, um, I'm gonna go watch videos of, Somali pirates getting getting erect erectile dysfunction when i see you again 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 when i see you again